friends, it's me, Miss Maria, and I'm at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Library. Thank you for joining me today. Are you ready to say hello with me? I thought that I would share with you one of my favorite ways of saying hello, and I used to use this in my story times a lot. But now that we're together in a different way, I have a different version of our game called Hello Jello. Some of you might remember, but some of the lines are different, and I'm going to teach them to you now. Are you ready? So if you're new to Hello Jello, I say a silly hello line to you, and you just say it right back to me, and we make it really fun. And these all rhyme, and that's going to be very important in just a few minutes. But are we ready? Great. Hello, Jello. Hey there, Grizzly Bear. Happy you're here, Root Beer. On the screen, Jelly Bean. Let's have some fun, Hamburger Bun. Good. Are you ready for some fun, Hamburger Bun? Oh, good. I know I am. Well, thank you again, friends, for joining with me. Joining me. We are going to celebrate some rhyming today with one of our favorite Halloween families called the Adams Family. And I'll tell you why we're using them in a minute. But we're going to be doing a lot of rhymes today, some with the Adams Family and some without. So another way to say hello that we like to use in story times um, uses our hands and our feet. And it goes like this. I can say hello with a crocodile snap, snap, snap. Can you do that? I can say hello with a crocodile snap, snap, snap. Good. Now we need your feet. I can say hello with a tap, tap, tap. Did you tap your feet? Good job. And I can say hello with a clap, clap, clap. Excellent. All right, friends, and we're going to clap along with a silly song that's from the Adams Family TV show that was on a long time ago. And it's like a silly Halloween family, and this is a great time of year to be rhyming with the Adams Family. Let's see if you can hear this. And we're gonna clap along. The Adams Family did a lot of snapping, so you can snap too, or you can clap. I'll leave it up to you. Are you ready? I'm listening for some rhymes. Okay, so how fun. I love the rhymes, and the song would keep going with more rhymes. So I love the fact that the Adams Family theme song is a great way to practice some rhymes. Maybe you and your grown-ups can use that song in the snapping or the clapping to do some rhymes. And I'm going to show you how in a second. Hmm. Go like this. Hmm. Do 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 do. Tall. Do 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 do. Small. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ball. So families, that's a fun and super way to practice some rhyming. I love it. Um, while we're also talking about practicing rhymes, I found a quick craft online that is a great way to practice rhymes. This is just one toilet paper tube and a straw. And all you do is a rhyme. Rhymes are words that sound alike mostly at the end. So for instance, I have this word that by itself says an, right? But I can make some rhymes by, can you help me read this? Can, good. What's the next one? Fan, very good. Let's see if we can, what's that one? Pan, very nice, and one more. Man, so wow, we had a bunch of rhyming words right here. So grownups, this is a great way to practice reading and rhyming with your little ones. It's super easy to make. Let's try some of those rhyming words with our Adams family. Ready? Do, 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 fan, do, 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 do. Can, do 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 Man, very good. That's all you have to do, friends. And I want to let you know, um, and this is more for our grown-ups, rhyming is such a great 
pre-reading skill. So it's a fun way for kids to, to build um, pre-reading skills, which we really love to see, especially in the preschool ages. The three stages of rhyming are stage one is hearing the rhyme, and then the child learns to repeat, kind of like Hello Jello. I had so many of my little friends that would, they knew it by heart after singing it with me after just a couple of weeks. So hearing the rhyme and then joining in and remembering it, and that is so vital. Stage two is recognizing a rhyme or maybe a child would recognize that cat and hat rhyme. Also another good rhyming book. Lastly, stage three is producing a rhyme where a child can just independently think of two words on their own that rhyme. And again, once I can't stress enough what a wonderful pre-reading skill that is. So while we're talking about reading, let's bring some books into it and let's start with The Addams Family. And this book is so fun. This is actually what inspired my program because it is actually the written version of the song we just sang and snapped and clapped to. So this is The Addams Family. The music and lyrics are by Vic Mizzy. Illustrations are by Lizzie Marlin. And you can request this book through our catalog. All right. As you can see, the characters are all fun and silly, and this page goes do 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 and clap along good, and the next page goes do 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 good, and then this says just what the song started to say: they're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky, they're all together ooky, the Adams family. Now, I won't read the whole book, but you get an idea of how fun rhyming can be. Excellent. All right, friends. I also have a couple really fun Halloween poems, which not all poems rhyme, but some do. And I wanted to share two Halloween rhymes with you out of this book called A Happy Hunter's Halloween Trick or Treat by Debbie Lepeman and illustrated by Tad Carpenter. Now, there are a bunch of Halloween poems in here. They're very quick reads, but I picked my two favorites. One is called Cold Bones, and it goes like this. Can anybody tell me if anyone knows why skeletons aren't freezing when they don't wear any clothes? Isn't that fun? And did you notice the rhymes nose and clothes? Those are rhymes, words that sound together, particularly at the end. My other favorite silly poem from this book is, I've lost my paper clip. Oh, this was it. Squeaky clean. And if you'll notice, what's going on in this picture? Do you see this over here? There's someone getting a bath. Do you get a bath? Yeah, I bet you do, and it's called Squeaky Clean. There once was a specter named John who bathed from dusk until dawn. When he finally got out, he let out a shout. I've scrubbed so hard that I'm gone. Oh no, where did he go? Looks like he's invisible. Wasn't that silly? I love silly poems and rhymes. And another excellent, if you're looking for more silly rhymes, this is a story that every page um, it features a rhyme. And then what's fun is it, this, this kind of produces good prediction skills for kids, and it helps them develop their own rhyming skills. So I will read a little bit of this to you. This is Rhyme Crime by John Bergerman, and given a review by Max, age four. Ha, 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 ha. So we know it's going to be good. I'll just read the first part of this. So it goes, once upon a time, a thief committed a crime. Everything he stole was replaced with a rhyme. Hammy's brand new hat was swapped for a cat. Good. Meow. Gumpop's lovely head became a slice of... You got it, bread. Oh, crumbs. Arnie's comfy chair was switched for a, what do you think? Bear. 
bear, how silly. Toodle's loyal dog was taken for a, what do you think? A log. Oh no, look, he's trying to walk the log. Work, work. Oh no, Moo Moo's fancy clogs were swapped for some, you got it, frogs. We're slippy, not slippers. Gertie's pretty house was now a giant mouse. Good. Do you have some cheese? Eek. Oh no, we're going to pause there. But to keep going with more silly rhymes, check out Rhyme Crime by John Bergerman. How wonderful. All right, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for talking just a little bit about rhymes with the Adams Family and with all these other fun books. It is time to say goodbye. So we are going to sing almost the song that we typically would do at the end of my story times. But this one is See You Later, Alligator. And like I said, since we're together in a new way, this one is going to sound a little bit different, but we're going to sing it together. So I will say a goodbye line and you can repeat it back to me. But before we do that, I would like you to say three things for me. First of all, we are together in a new way. Can you say that? We are together in a new way. Good. Secondly, we can do hard things. We can do hard things. And lastly, you are enough. That's right. You are enough. Excellent. Give yourself a squeeze. I love it. All right, friends, let's say goodbye. It goes like this. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Good. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Good. Time to go, buffalo. Better swish, jellyfish. Good. Until next time, lemon lime. Bye-bye, pumpkin pie. Very nice, friends. Thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time.